Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abelson from Kinetic Health. We're going to continue on with our series on BPPV. The subject is all about vertigo, the benign type of vertigo. Now, different eye motions actually give you a really good indication of which procedure we should be using. We're going to go over the Lembert procedure or the barbecue roll procedure. Now, this is kind of an interesting one because the person gets eye twitches with their dizziness horizontally back and forth, back and forth. Then we would consider using this particular procedure. So Richie's gonna give me a hand here so we can go through some stuff. But as we're going through each procedure, I wanna explain something to you. Normally what happens with this type of vertigo is positionally related. And it's benign as I mentioned. So in our, over our ear, we have a vestibular system. The vestibular system has semicircular canals. So each of these positions we're gonna go through is designed to get a dislodged crystal out of one of those semicircular canals. In this case, it's the lateral or horizontal canal. Now, I drew something here to kind of explain to you a little bit that when we're going through this, we're starting in the first position. We've got a, a little crystal, the red area here, stuck in that canal. As we move to the next position, we're kind of getting that crystal to drop down and move through that. And finally, in the, the next position, we're actually gonna move it through this. So to do this, we have to actually have some momentum. Normally you only have fluid moving through the semicircular canals, but when a crystal gets stuck in there or lodged in that area, you get these misinformations or, or kind of a cross signaling between your vestibular system and your brain. It tells you, yes, I'm moving when you're actually not. So you start to feel dizzy and the whole room could be spinning. Okay, so let's go over the Lembert or the, uh, they call the barbecue roll procedure here, which I'm not quite sure they came up with that name. Okay, <laughs> right, so I'm gonna get you to just lie back here all the way. So, in this particular example, let's just say that when Ritzy turned her head over to the left-hand side, she started to feel dizzy and the room was spinning around and I'd observe her eyes and I would see them moving kind of back and forth like this. Now, Ritzy's trying to duplicate this, but it's very, very difficult to do that, to get this staccatic movement of the eyes or nystagmus in there. But let's say she has that and we bring her into this position. We'd hold this position for 30 to 60 seconds. And then we'd see that the actual eye motion starts to diminish, the person is not quite as dizzy. Key point here, when you're going through this procedure, make sure you tell the patient that this may actually cause a reproduction of symptoms. You should probably have a bucket fairly close by just in case the person feels really nauseous. Um, they could possibly throw up. Um, usually it doesn't happen, but there is that possibility. So after 30 to 60 seconds, we're gonna get Ritzy to actually go face over. So this is the uh, barbecue roll. We're rolling over, then we're gonna go face down, head down. Good, okay. Then we stay here for another 30 to 60 seconds. Really important um, to check in and see whether the person's dizzy or not. Now, uh, Ritzy, go up on your elbows here a little bit, okay? Like this and this. You could be in this position with your head, no, head down, your head would be down and you need this for 30 to 60 seconds. That way I could actually check in and see whether or not your eyes are actually going back and forth or not. And when it slows down, then we would consider getting you into the third position. So if we're doing this, we're doing it not too slow, so we get momentum in that semicircular canal and we start to get that crystal moving through there. We wanna get that crystal out of the canal. Okay, I'm gonna get you to now roll on your side here, go on your side, your whole body. I'm gonna support your head just a little bit here, just relax there. And again, I'd be looking to see whether or not you had the staccatic movements of the horizontal nystagmus there. Just relax here, you're not moving your eyes anymore. <laughs> and as I said, it's really hard to duplicate, but I'll, I'll leave actually a link with uh, some actual real examples up in the upper right-hand corner. So after 30 to 60 seconds, if the person's not feeling dizzy, we'd actually bring them back to the original position. That's why I call this a barbecue roll because you're making a complete circular 360. Okay, go ahead and turn on your back. And if the problem is actually in the lateral or horizontal semicircular canal, and we've actually got the crystal out of there, the person's dizziness will you know, basically diminish to the point where this is not bothering anymore. And you know, we may actually be quite successful. That being said, we may have to repeat this a few times. Now, there's different versions of this. Some people are saying move from one side to the other side. It will depend on which particular semicircular canal on which side of the hip actually has a crystal stuck in it. So we may have to vary this a little bit. 
Now, if this doesn't work at all, it may be because we actually have a crystal stuck in one of the other canals there, whether it's the superior, anterior, or posterior. But we have other procedures for that. So please check out our website because we're going to be basically posting all the different procedures we can do if we find that the person has BPPV. Till next time. High clouds drifting away, leaving those shadows under. First step out of the maze, follow the path and